we would like to calculate the elliptical galaxy subclassification for this particular elliptical galaxy, NGC 1379. We want to know its ellipticity number or its E number, its subflux classification number, which is based on how elliptical the galaxy is. Here's a general ellipse on the right, and the ellipse is defined by its semi-major axis A length and its semi-minor axis B length. We want an equation that relates A to B. So in order to find out what A and B are equal to, let's go ahead and generally just draw in the shape of this galaxy. So I'm just going to trace it out with a circle. And you can do this on your paper. You can just get out a pen and trace out a circle. And then I'm going to draw in what I think the semi-major axis is and label it A. And then I'm going to do the same thing in green and put in the semi-minor axis and label it B. Then what you need to do is you need to get out a ruler and you need to measure both A and B. Let's say I measured B to be five millimeters. I went out my, got out my ruler and all I did was measure the length of this B line in green. I do the same thing in red and I determine how many millimeters is the red line. Let's say I also determine the red line is five millimeters. Well now I have a relationship between A and B. In this particular example, A is equal to B, and if you look at it, it looks very close with A being equal to B. So now I have a relationship relating A to B. And that's how you find a relationship between the semi-major axis and the semi-minor axis. You measure them and then find a relationship. Now I can add that to my given. We're given NGC 1379. I went ahead and measured its A and its B, so I know its values, and I can put A equal to B in here. Now I can also leave it as A is equal to five millimeters and B is equal to five millimeters and substitute into our equation here, and I'll do that as well. We want to find this E subclassification number where the number is based on this equation equals 10 times one minus B over A. So let's go find this number. Let's do case one first, where I found the relationship between A and B. So we have the number is equal to 10 times it by one minus A over B, or one minus B over A. And I know what B and A are equal to. I'm just gonna put a B on the top, and I know from this equation, I can substitute it in for A, that A is equal to B. Substitute it in. And then I can cancel out like values. This is B divided by B, and it gives me a one. One minus one is zero, zero times 10 is zero. So our number is equal to zero. So our final answer is E with the number, in this case, it is zero. Our galaxy subclassification is a zero. E is the classification for elliptical, so the galaxy is an E zero. Now let's go look at case two. Let's say I measured A and B, but I really can't find a relationship. Let's say A and B are just two different numbers and it's not easy for me to figure it out. Well, you can still just plug them into the equation. So here's number is equal to 10. Still keep that one minus B over A. Well, B I measured up here as five millimeters. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put five millimeters in for B. Then I measured A and you do the same thing. I went in and measured A to be five millimeters and I just substitute in for A of five millimeters. I cancel like letters and like numbers. So millimeters cancels with millimeters, five cancels with five, and then you have top and bottom canceling out and that just gives you a one. Once again, one minus one is zero, 10 times zero is zero, 
and your number still is equal to zero. So the galaxy classification is still E0. So in review, what you need to do is if you don't already know the relationship between B and A, you need to draw the shape, draw in B, draw in A, and measure them with a ruler. Get the number of millimeters for A and B, substitute them in for the equation for A and B, and then calculate it out and you'll find the number, the subclassification number, that's attached to the classification number E to find the galaxy classification, which in this case is E0 for NGC 1379.